We're live in Gehenna, Texas at the magnificent H-E-L-N-L Stadium. Built by zillionaire owner, GM, and coach Scary Clones. He describes it as a Roman Coliseum theme park, slaughterhouse, art museum, and secret bordello all in one. Both teams hit the field ready to hit each other in this MFL matchup. The New York Tyrants go up against the Malice Hellboys. Welcome to MFL Game Day. Grim Blitzrow here. Let's listen in on the sidelines and hear what the team's captains have to say. In your face, <laughs> If you like your cocktail cold, your soup hot, and your steak still mooing, then you're gonna love seeing mutants not cold, their brains turned into hot lava soup, and their bodies strewn about the field, lying still and barely moving. MFL game day is on the air. Oh, you just made me hungry, Grim. I'm gonna go get some of them extra crispy mutant finger strips. Hey, get me a full slab of broken mutant ribs while you're there. Man, I can take death and dismemberment, but that was that was really just gross. Second down and ten. That run is good for nine yards. Oh, and the late hit arrives right on time. When it's your time to go, it's your time. And that'll bring up third and one. It's a glitterception! What's that, Grim? A fabulous interception! Ooh, that hit's gonna shave a few days off his life. The coach isn't liking that call. Oh, his head just exploded. And it's first and ten. Defense says enough of this BS and jumps offside to lay waste to the referee. Way to go, guys. And it's first and ten. Second down in a very lot. And he catches it for six yards. Good mitts on that play, Bricks. His fingers are like a bunch of sausages. Third down and eight. You know, sometimes the best thing to do is just punt and let your defense get the ball back. And that punter gets paid way too much to kick like that. And he just lets that one go. He says, no, thank you. And the defense downs it. And it's first and ten. Second down and seven. The defense better look out. The offense called the Beast Boost Dirty 
trick. First and ten. And that's another pick. Man, oh man, the defense is going to hit more. Oh, that's a big time hit. You ever been hit like that before, Bricks? Uh, have you seen my beer? <laughs> and it's first and ten. First and ten. And he caught it! And nothing was going to stop him from getting into the end zone. Except maybe self-doubt, but he seems to have worked through it. Some who would argue that we should just skip this step and make touchdowns worth seven. What, and kick the kicker's job in half? They'd just be called sinners then. The kick is good! Man, as expected, those are pretty much just guineas. Here comes the kicker. Oh, I can't wait to hear this. What's the kicker, Grin? Uh, this guy in the field. Oh, I thought you were going to tell me a story like, here's the kicker. Oh, that's a vicious hit, and the crowd loves it. harder than that and that is unfortunate first down this guy just left and whoever said never hit a man when he's down is just plain lazy nice extra effort there the offense is down to their last running back no rest for the weary the last runner has to suck it up and hopefully not die And it's first and ten. And he was running like he had a load in his pants. Picks up maybe two. Uh, we always ran with a load in our pants, Grim. It's a pretty good defensive tool. Yeah, except the zombies. They are freaks. QB know which team he's on? I don't even know where I'm at. You ever have a bottle of hot sauce shoved up your ass? Quite the description of that painful hit, Junior. Huh? No, no, it's a questionnaire on this online dating profile. It doesn't say if on purpose or by accident. Yeah, I'll leave it blank. And it's first and ten. was there, but he still picked up a yard somehow. Second down and nine. Oh, what a punishing hit that was. And that's how you make a guy remember your name and your shoe size. Because he just walked all over him. And it's first and ten. It's a zap attack. It's like when you're... Oh, he took a leap and hit the ball knocked out. Fumble. And they're catching up! Joke, job, do something! How have they not killed him yet? He's wearing a new mink coat, for God's sake! And he's seven layers of 
smarmy grin. First down in less than a year. It's a jailbreak, and the defense jumps offside to kill the ref. Ho oh, ho! Crowd's loving it. First and eight to go. here or they'll kick the shit out of you in the locker room it goes right through yeah like a double stop burrito from taco hell the teams are lined up for the kickoff they're going to be able to return this one First and ten. Huge pass play for one yard. Second down and nine. totally uncalled for and that's why we love the mfl third down and five that's the end of quarter one well the good news is there's still time to make it a game I got to see that one again. It was also freaking awesome. I hope they had raincoats in the front row because that was splattering everywhere. And they'll line up for the punt here. Nice punt. Should move him back nicely. He's got the ball now. Let's see what he does with it. First and ten. Normally that would be a first down, but he had a whole lot of ground to make up. Second down, the size of Bricks Wiener. Hey! Sorry, partner. And a hard run there picks up the first down. It's a vicious kill. Did you know light hits are one of the leading causes of death for mutants over 25? I didn't know that. Yeah, right below attending bachelor parties and owning a Sam Schwong Galaxy phone. Pow! With the brain scrambler! Second down and two. Run it for a yard. And that'll bring up third and one. Oh, 
Defense better watch out. The quarterback just threw a murder ball. He's leaving a wake of destruction in his path, and the body toll continues to climb. Goal! If you ever do that again, Bricks, I'll shoot you in the head. The people like it. I won't even have it. Now, there are some who would argue that we should just skip this step and make touchdowns worth seven. What? And kick the kicker's job in half? They just be. It's good. Here comes the kickoff. Let's see if the defense can hold them. Looks like he'll be able to run this one back if he's not terrified for his life. He is, but he's got. Ooh, hope he's got a good chiropractor. And it's first and ten. They weren't even on the same page on that play. Second down and ten. Say goodnight to that guy, Bricks. Ah, uh, goodnight to that guy, Bricks. You're an idiot. Oh, what a brutal hit! Oh. And it's first and ten. And the defense spiked the offensive water with Strawberry Fields. And now they can taste sound, but Cameron... That pass play was good for three yards. Second down and seven. And he picks up maybe four on that play. Third down and three. And he's able to grab that one somehow and hold on for the first down. This guy has a nice set of hands, Grim. It's the third set of hands he's had so long today. Looks like it's a good fit. And this guy is making a name for himself tonight with a pickup of about 10. Oh, that was totally uncalled for. And that's why we love the MFL. First and four. And he laterals at the last second. Nifty move there. Second down and seven. And into the end zone with a burst of speed. Yeah, I think he's more of a downers guy than a speed feet grip. He's running from his dealings. Yes, you think you go toe-to-toe -to -toe with me? I will wreck your world. You understand me, Junior? I'll wreck your world. Don't try to get fancy here. Just put the ball down and kick it. In that order, Grim? The kick is good. As expected, those are pretty much just gimmies. The best kind of kick is when it's right after a score. Hey, speak for yourself. I'm usually the one who gets kicked after scoring. And it's first and ten. Of course, he, he could have had an interception, returned it for a touchdown, and changed the entire game, but I don't want to nitpick. 
I do. The guy should have fucking caught it. Ah, another interception. Easy kick. Oh, with the punishing hit. <laughs> and it's first and ten. Oh, that was a big hit. Hey, Bricks, I bet you took a lot of shots like that over your career. Ah, uh, let's see. About a quarter after three, Grim, but my watch is a bit slow. First down and five. And that's a sack. The quarterback has to get rid of the ball there. Second down and six. I don't know whose eyes the QB is using, but can we get him some new ones? He broke free and has open field in front of him. Boom to the moon. Another loser bites the dust in the NFL. I know how this said another hit a man when he's down. He's just plain lazy. Nice extra effort there. It's first and ten. That's a gain of ten yards. Second down in inches. And into the end zone for a touchdown. Once he got his hands on that pass, he was off to the races. Don't want to make any mistakes here. Just kick the ball through the upright, for God's sake. Straight through the uprights. The teams are lined up for the kickoff. It's up for the return. Let's see if he can break one wide open. The quarterback shifts gears and goes into his hurry-up offense. And he held on to that one for a first down. Oh, holy Montezuma's revenge. That's a crap your pants and die tackle. Oh, that Montezuma was very vengeful, wasn't he, Bricks? Wonder what made him so mad. That was probably all the diarrhea. Yeah, you're probably right. Yeah, they probably ran out of toilet paper when he was in some all-inclusive resort, and he just got so mad and cursed everyone who came to Mexico forever to crap their pants. Ah, sounds like he didn't really think it through because, you know, he should have made it specifically for the owners of the inclusives, but yeah, not the guests. What the fuck are you talking about? Uh, I don't really know right now. What day is it? Second, and they quickly call a timeout to stop the clock. The offense wants to speed things up, so it signals a hurry up. Yeah, same as Brits' ex-girlfriend signaled when they were doing it. Yeah, she called it rabbit sex. I thought... Great play by the defense. It's not too often a quarterback gets rejected. That's why that's the position I originally tried out for. I want to know what it's like for other people to accept you. Now that went from a joke to making me feel feelings. Stop it. This isn't a place to feel feelings. This is football. And with another pick, the QB says, I don't know almost throw interceptions, but when I do... You can't keep a good mutant down. Oh, man. Bricks, you got to love a player who goes down fighting. At 
the end of quarter two, it's a blowout. We now go to our halftime show sponsored by Monsatan Industries, makers of great killer products like Ground Up. Use it on pesky weeds or neighbors, and they'll be gone by morning. We're back from the second half in a blowout. The teams line up for the kickoff. Well, the game is this close as the score indicates. <laughs> When you give up points, you need to get them back. Here comes the kickoff. Let's see if they can make them pay. Wow, with the brain scrambler. And it's first and ten. He's got his beef boot working. The player just transformed into a violent form of pure battle. Oh, the unstoppable force meets the explosive. sent a message with that hit. Yeah, the message was you can't kill the messenger because he's going to kill you. But then he won't be able to read the message because the messenger killed him. Ah, uh, going in circles. The offense lost another running back and only two remain on their roster. When a team loses all their running backs, they lose their ability to run the ball. Hey, like if they rip out your tongue, you won't be able to speak. Tell us something we don't know, genius. And it's first and ten. At this rate, the QB is going to have more interceptions than completions. Ouch! What is this, Andy's wrestling? Well, that's a strange penalty called right there. I'm starting to notice that this ref likes talking, and it don't make much sense. No, but he's making a lot of dollars. First down and inches. Defense says enough of this BS and jumps off sides to lay waste to the referee. Way to go, guys. And it's first and ten. Coverage. Nice deflection. Second down and ten. He's rumbling and stumbling. He could go. Second down and long. And the offense jumps off sides to kill the ref. They say, we're mad as hell and not going to take it anymore. <laughs> Second down in a mile. Cleats are caked in blood and guts, and he's looking to score. He might catch him. Oh, you fat man, you. First down. I see this guy drop a lot of balls in the past, but I heard the quarterback threaten to throw him a real bomb if he dropped one again. You know, good communication is important. And it's first and ten. Taking you with me. And it's first and ten. Nicely 
nicely done for a first down. Boom, dead and down. Nothing more to say about this guy except maybe a eulogy. Ah, uh, well, he was a violent alcoholic, a terrible father, and uh, he did some nasty things to dogs. <clears throat> but, uh, I mean, he was a great ball player. Uh, you know, that's really what counts at the end of the day, right? Second down at five. Well, that's the end of his day. Looks like he had a bad case of the worms. First and ten. And they stack the line and he gets his bell rung for a yard. Second down and nine. Just went down. Hey, hey, I almost got that mutant bingo. All I need is 77 to bite it. Third and two. At this point, with multiple interceptions, the QB should just throw in the towel. Oh, that was a hit. You ever had your lights knocked out like that, Bricks? I'll take the salad, Steve. Wait, where am I? And it's first and ten. Second down and more than the QB would like. Don't you just love the sound of bones snapping and cracking? I mean, when they're not yawn. And that'll bring up third and one. Oh, and that's how you play defense. Of course, he, he could have had an interception, returned it for a touchdown and changed the entire game, but I don't want to nitpick. And kickers practice for this kind of kick every day. Pretty standard. Nothing standard when you got bloodthirsty mutants on the defensive line. And it's good! You know, Grim, in this league where murder and bribery are cheered, it's good to be good, huh? I mean, can't we all just... Not this shit again. Bricks, I'm stopping it right there. And that's a returnable ball. Returnable? You mean he can get a refund for it? No, no, Bricks, it, it means he can return it for me. You know what? Never mind. is getting kills. Uh, this is a really violent game, guys. It's fantastic. The burn returner was killed on that play. The coach will replace him with another player. And it's first and ten. First and ten. Oh, and he looks like he just saw 400 scary movies after that hit. Yeah, sounds like my off season. 
And it's first and ten. Oh, that is one big mutant sandwich down there. One guy's definitely toast. That's what you call a club sandwich, Grim. Second and three. And that's the kind of play you pay the secondary for. You pay him for the pick six. For this, you just give him a pat on the head and tell him they don't suck. Third down and three. And I've had it. I'm running out of excuses for this QB. You just, you just throw it to the guy in the same color, and he's off to the races. Bam! Say goodnight to that guy, Bricks. Ah, uh, goodnight to that guy, Bricks. You're an idiot. First and ten. This guy's a brick shit house. And he put on the afterburners after that catch and scored. Nicely done. I'm a hot camel seller. I am a hell of a seller. And here comes the extra point attempt. right through. Yeah, like a double stop burrito from Taco Hell. They're looking for a good return after giving up points. Let's see how they do. Yeah, let's see if they always suck or if that was just a one-time thing. And it's first and ten. And the defense gets another pick. Man, rough day. Hey, Grim, what have you ever got hit in the head with a boat all, Grim? Nope. Well, I have on several occasions. Not surprising. Multiple times on each occasion. Not surprising. And trust me, that hit was worse. That's the end of the third quarter. And look, folks, I'll be honest, I don't see a chance in hell in here. The quarterback goes into a hurry-up offense. He's looking for a quick score. Aren't we all, Grim? Aren't we all? At this rate, the QB's going to have more interceptions than completions. Oh, oh man, he just crushed him. <laughs> I got to see that again. I had a kid once like that walking down the sidewalk, texting with his earbuds in. Freaked him out. He said, hey, what'd you do that for? I said, I did you a lesson. What lesson, he said? That unless you're a baboon with big baboon you gotta pay attention. Yeah, a lot of the jungle, you know? Oh, that was a hit. You ever had your lights knocked out like that, Bricks? I'll take the salad, Steve. Wait, where am I? And it's first and ten. Picks up two yards on the pass. Then this guy's six feet tall. He could just have fallen over and gotten two yards. And that'll be second and eight to go. Boom, dead and down. He delivered the freaky fast ham and sandwich with extra mustard for the death blow. Speaking of ham sandwiches, I'm gonna go grab one. You want anything? No, still working on my salami here, Bricks. Thanks. That's what she said. Ah, uh, uh, didn't work that time. It was close, though. Yep. First down and seven. Don't worry. If he shots it. And that's the way you play a guy. Nice coverage. Second down and seven. He had nowhere to go and got nothing out of it.
And that'll bring up third down and seven. Should be an easy chip shot extra point, but you never know with kickers. <laughs> the kick is good. As expected, those are pretty much just kidneys. Here comes the kickoff. Let's see if the defense can hold them. Not a bad kick, but not a great one either. Well, his nickname is Lukewarm. And he's proud of that? Yeah, that's why he named his clothing company Lukewarm Threads. Their marketing team hates it. The offense goes into their two-minute drill. What the hell is that? It's the same thing as a hurry-up offense, you moron. That was a good throw, assuming he was aiming for the ground. And the offense goes into a hurry up to pick up the pace of the game. One time when I was playing, a guy hit me so hard. And that's a hell of a cheap shot. <laughs> Gotta love it. And it's first and ten. At this point, with multiple interceptions, the QB should just throw in the towel. Yeah. Oh, and he just left an outline on the ground like he was trying to wipe out the dinosaurs. Must be opposite day because he's the one who just got wiped out. And it's first and ten. And the defense spiked the offensive water with strawberry. That ball was almost intercepted. Second down and ten. Uh, uh, uh. Run for five yards. Oh, and you can bury that guy because he is dead. Oh, did you see what number he was? I gotta check it off my dead mutant bingo card. I only need one more. Third down and five. And another interception. This quarterback is going to listen to Joy Division and weep tonight. He could go all the way. <laughs> and the hurry up offense wears out the defense since they can't rest their players. You idiot. It was the frayed cords of the leaf blower. Well, it was a red cord and it looked like licorice. The point is, ah, I forgot my point. And the offense goes into their two minute drill. Which coincidentally happens to be Brick's match stupsing time. That's why the girls call me Speedy Gonzalez. And he just slipped away. Oh, and he breaks free. <laughs> Don't try to get fancy here. Just put the ball down and kick it. In that order, Grim? It's good. The onside kick is a desperation play, but it's their only chance at this point to steal a possession. Stealing ain't right, Grim. It just ain't right. He's rumbling and stumbling. He could go all the way. Holy mother of mutant mayhem, he scored! Ah, uh, that's creepy, right? That's creepy. I'm not the only one who thinks that, right? <laughs> Yeah. 
And these guys think kicking is for pussies, Bricks. They're going for two. Yeah, they got big balls, Grim. Yeah, bigger than yours. The home crowd isn't impressed with that showing, but their team has a chance to respond. And it's first and ten. Oh, the defender almost picked off the ball on that one. Second down and ten. And that's a sack. Speaking of sacks, has anybody seen my powder? I'm itching like crazy over here. Third down and never gonna happen. Receiver like glue. You know, when I was little, my dad used to make me eat glue. My tongue would get stuck to the roof of my mouth, and I couldn't talk. Your father was a very smart man, Bricks. Very smart. He boomed that one. Let's see if they can get a return. The return man catches the ball and heads upfield. Man, what a hit that was. And the quarterback goes into a hurry-up offense and calls all the plays from the line of scrimmage from here on out. If you don't think you can make the interception, batting it down is the next best thing. Great advice, Grim. That receiver's gonna go far in this league if he listens to you. I wasn't talking to... Yeah, never mind. Yes, Brick, he will. Ah, another interception. Geez, you give this guy a bigger paycheck than everybody else combined. Now the offense is getting kills. This is really a violent game, guys. And it's first and ten. Decides to throw the ball away. Second down and ten. And that's some good old fashioned downhill running as he. Oh man, he just killed that guy when the play was over. Well, if the ref didn't see it, at least the mortician did. He's coming out in the field now. Smart move there as they call a timeout trying to get the ball back for another shot. And that'll bring up third and one. And he reels that one in for a first down to keep the drive alive. And that's two timeouts gone for the defense. But they've really got to get the ball back to their offense. But the offense is like 30 balls over there on the side. I just wait for them. Why don't they just use them? Ask the ball boy. He didn't do nothing. And Lev Katz will give them a first down. I don't know if they're his, but he sure has a good set of... The defense just used their last time out, and there's still plenty of game left to play. Well, congratulations. You just played yourself. Means won't make you cool, Bricks, no matter what your mom says. And with another pick, the QB says, I don't know. Oh, he just got crushed. And the offense goes into a hurry up to pick up the pace of the game. Punishing hit, the quarterback goes down. Just one, just some fun on your time. 
Second down and a very lot. And that's another pick. Man, oh man, the defense is going to have more receptions than the offense. Pow! And how about a little dirt sandwich? And it's first and ten. Don't make any mistakes here, or they'll kick the shit out of you in the locker room. Straight through the uprights. The home team is feeling confident as they get the kickoff into the air. Scoring makes anyone confident. It certainly does, Bricks. It certainly does. High five! <laughs> Time to speed things up. The offense goes into a two-minute drill. One, two, he just put that guy out of his misery and says, who's next? Oh, the unstoppable force meets the explodable object. Oh, man, Bricks, you got to love a player who goes down fighting. Oh, holy smokes. He just killed that player with a cheap shot. The Malice Hellboys win today's game. After a stomping like that, the opposition may be a permanent part of the field. More like a graveyard, Grim. There are body parts everywhere. And speaking of body parts, did I ever tell well, you what listen to MVP. I'm, I'm sure he has something inspiring to say. Row with Brickhead Mulligan and Bricks Jr. and all the folks at Evil SN want to thank you for watching this presentation of the Mutant Football League. Today's game was brought to you by Comcrack Entertainment. They're not happy until you're not happy.